hapa nchini Kenya katika mbio za mita moja baada ya kupigwa marufuku ya miaka miwili alidai ya kwamba alitumia zile dawa zilizoharamishwa dawa za kutitimia misuli bila yeye mwenye kujua kwa hivyo shirikisho la riadha hapa nchini Kenya baada ya marufuku kuisha kwa shirikisho la kimataifa la riadha wamemruhusu Marco Teno arejeje ataweza ataingia katika ule muda unaotakiwa mchujo wa olimpiki taarifa imeandaliwa na mwanahabari wetu Duncan Askofu na kwenye kipindi cha VAR leo tutakuwa tunazungumza naye Mark Otieno mwanariadha mbio za mita mia moja pia mbio za mita mia mbili akitueleza je safari yake imekuaje kumbuka amekuwa nje kwa ndani ya miaka miwili tangu apigwe marufuku lakini marufuku ilianza kukamilika basi tutakuwa tunazungumza naye atueleze je safari imekuaje ni kipi ambacho amekipoteza na je tutarajie nini kutoka kwake ungana nami hapa ni kiungana naye Mark Otieno vipi kaka asante sana haya shukran yeah. uh, my name is Mark Otieno and I'm, uh, I'm born again Christian I'm an athlete and I do represent um, 100 and 200 and I'm also a husband <laughs> I'm um, to be honest I feel good to be back. It's been quite challenging when uh, athletes do participate when you're outside and you can't even um, get close to a stadium but um, right now that it's over it's something that I'm really excited to be looking forward because now it's like my career is now on a roll lights back. You know when this situation when you come I think really fickle a place here What, what will I do next because now when you say kila mtu ananiona ni ile like will I sit down will I you know nikae chini tuendelee kuongoleza all the way mpaka saa zile results ipatikane but nilifika at one place where I was like um, let me train let me continue training by faith knowing that this thing will be over so the past two years I've been training it's been quite challenging mentally physically spiritually but i will say they are, they've all been they, they were challenged during the first period of me being suspended but now going forward I, at least i train like an athlete knowing that i'm still in the season you know of course knowing that i, I can't participate but i kept my hopes high and i kept um, knowing that one day at one point that this thing will end um the thing is that um reading the bible that's one thing that we normally encourage our teenagers to do so and um i'll say god has been speaking to me every single day especially during those period of time because that's one place that i'll run for comfort i'll run for when i'm feeling low i'll run when um when things are not making sense and number two is that um i had a lovely supportive wife and uh, it's one thing that amekuwa kini amekuwa kini shikilia all through at least i had someone that who has been keeping me accountable and keeping me in check and number three, I had a good community which that um, a community of people who are called family that hakuni achilia in a, in a sense that they doubted what i did but it's something that they believed in me and that you know they kept on checking up on me praying for me and being there for me as well Um one thing that I learned during this period personally as me as Mark I learned that um, I'm strong especially mentally I'm self driven and it's one thing that I realized that that's my strength so I use this to my advantage that I can't stay down at one position so let me let me keep my mind active by you know keep on training and um looking forward to the future and looking forward to you know that this thing of course it will end but yeah so mentally I'll say that I was strong and it's one thing that i keep it's one thing that we encourage other people because if you have a weak men, if you have, if you're weak mentally you know everything will crumble around you mm. um my take is that there are things and there are measures that need to be taken seriously like let me use my example because i've been there when it comes to now supplement use I believe now going forward what I've learned for the past two years is something that we want to now educate the next athletes going forward because I've seen right now they want to test you know and contamination we always tell people it can happen to anyone you know so now going forward whatever that I've learned now it's a matter of now putting it now into education and educating other athletes not to fall into the same trap of the day they all still need to know should to be shown love they all need to be shown that 
as much as whatever that you're going through, we are in it together and you can walk through this process. Maybe it's a mistake that they did and at that point, even your choice, like, it's the consequences that I'm living, but you know, there's nothing that they can do, but they would love to move forward and help others. I'll say that I'm, I'm stronger, I'm better. That's what you can expect from me. And I'm more wiser and I'm more hopeful. And I'm looking forward to what's coming ahead, especially in Paris 2024. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the, all the people who supported me um, through all the media, those people who kept on texting me via DMs, kept on checking on me, kept on asking where I'm at while I was during my suspension. And I'll say that your messages as it went all in vain and um, they kept me going. As Mako Tieno yule mwanariadha ambayo za mita 100 sasa unajua wanazidi kutupatia kitete na furaha kwa sababu tayari katika jukwaa la kimataifa tunaye Ferdinand Manyala yuko zake huko tutasubiri Budapest mashindano ya dunia yale sivyo e, Arocho Ndiyo. inakupa faraja aina gani kwamba huyu mwamba manake alikuwa muda wake ni mzuri kabla kupigwa marufuku alikuwa anapelekana na Omanyala Je, yeah, unaona anaweza kufikia viwango vya Omanyala pia? <coughs> Mimi mwanzo ningependa nge, kurejea nyuma. Um, marufuku yake kwa mtizamo wangu haikustahili. Ukitizama vile uchunguzi ulivyofanywa na yale ambayo alitendeka kabla ya Olimpiki kwa kwa mtizamo wangu bado mm. uh, sijaweza kuelewa. Lakini yote tisa, kumi, ame e, amekaa nje misimu miwili ama miaka miwili na anarejea. Na kitu ambacho nimependa naye Mark nilimhoji kama miezi sita iliyopita. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark alinieleza kitu ambacho nilipenda ni kwamba ni mtu ambaye uh, ana, ana imani sana. Ana imani kwamba chochote ambacho kimemtendekea kuna sababu. Mm. Kwa mtizamo wake anaona kwamba sababu yake kwamba kuna mazuri ambayo anakuja. Inamaanisha kwamba inampa roho. Mm. Alafu pili ambacho pia niliweza kushuhudia kwa uh, tukio hili ni kwamba Mark akona mke ambaye ni mke wa ajabu stahmilivu manake mke wake amesimama na yeye kando na wa Kenya eh, ambao wamekuwa kiwasiliana naye kwa njia moja au nyingine mm. mkewe ni mwanadada ambaye amesimama na yeye mm. na ndio mtu ambaye amekuwa kama nguzo kwake mm. na namuona Mark akifuzu olimpiki na namuona ni baadhi ya wa Kenya ambao eh. watatuletea nishani mm. basi hawa na riadha mbio za mita 100 na bahati manake Omanyala pia mke wake paka ada nyumba alimlipia mm. na huyu arocho kumbe ana za chini ya carpet hapa hatujui sisi <laughs> <laughs> na, na, na hata nakumbuka uh, wakati anamtaja arocho na mkewe nakumbuka kipindi hiki wakati amekuwa amepigwa marufuku mm. uh, ukiachia mbali labda haya mahojiano ambayo alifanya uwanjani mahojiano mengi ambayo amekuwa akifanya katika vyombo vya habari mm. anakuja na huyo mkewe e, anatembea naye unaona anavoka naye na wajua juzi tulikuwa na kikao cha adak mm. ambao wanapambana na utumiaji wa hizi dawa tulikuwa na kikao kule Mombasa karibu siku mbili mpaka leo uh, bahaji ni safari ndefu sana E, mwana habari ama mtazamaji ukisikia tu kwamba mwana michezo amepigwa marufuku mm. kwa kutumia hizi dawa ile stigma ile anatembea nayo siku zote lakini ni process ndefu sana unaweza kuta mm. hakuhusika ama alihusika kwa sababu gani nakupa mfano wajua unaweza sema inatakiwa un update kwamba utakuwa wapi siku fulani waje mm. kufanyia vipimo mm. sasa wasipokupata mara mbili mara ya tatu unaweza ukapigwa marufuku si kwamba ulipatikana ulitumia mm -hmm. lakini tutuiachie hayo pembeni tumeona na riadha wengi sana bahaji wametoka kwenye marufuku wakaja wakatamba omanyala mwenyewe omanyala unakumbuka eh. e, mpaka mpaka marekani tumeona mm. mpaka jamaika na bado ana muda mm. anaweza akakimbia hizi mbio sisi ni kumtilia dua mm -hmm. tuna imani kwamba atarudi na kama medali aliandikiwa ataichukua hiyo aliyotaja olimpiki mm muda nao mak kile laheri mako teno mm. na ni furaha kwetu kwa sababu sasa idadi ya wale wanariadha ambao wanazidi kushamiri katika mbio fupi inaongezeka taarifa nzuri kwa Kenya bwana hebu tusonge mbele katika taarifa nyingine uh, wiki hii arocho bwana karibu timu tatu za ligi kuu ya Kenya wametangaza sajili mpya mm. upande wa kufunzi <laughs> eh, walianza na FC Lepa sio wakamtambulisha Tom Juma alafu bwana Sofapaka nao wakasema hatu